Right, question nine. Use the substitution 1 plus, 1 plus L and X to find, uh, plus X to find the integral that is given there. One thing to notice before we start, which caught a few people out, 1 minus L and X minus X isn't minus U. And that, I think there were a couple of people who just made that assumption straight away. Notice that that's not, that's not the same thing. Um, so, u equals 1 plus ln x plus x. We're going to need to find du by the x, aren't we? Because we're going to have to use that in our substitution. du by the x is 1 over x plus 1. Uh, so that gives us something to go on with that. Um, what do I do next? Uh, I, I think, I don't know, that, that kind of thing there, that looks slightly clunky. So I felt that I wanted to rewrite that straight away before anything else happened yeah, as being 1 over x plus x over x. So that's 1 plus x over x. That's a, a way of expressing du by the x. Oh, and that immediately leaps out of this thing here. Because that means that if I think of du as being 1 plus x over x times dx, there is 1 plus x over x dx appearing in my integral. So it, the substitution is ready. x plus 1 over x dx is equal to du. We're straight in there with that. Right, what else are we going to have to deal with? We've got a 1 minus ln x minus x. Well, if that's what that says there, then, um, then how could we rearrange that? We could say that uh, ln x plus x is u minus 1, isn't it? We could rearrange it to get that. So, minus <coughs> ln x minus x is the negative of that. So that's 1 minus u. So that bracket that we'd have to deal with up there, which is 1 minus ln x minus x, I've just added 1 to the left. If I add 1 to the right, it makes it 2 minus u. I think I'm ready to do a substitution in here. So the integral that I started with is now, so can we see what's happened with this? We've got the 3, x plus 1 over x dx is equal to du, 1 minus ln x minus x is equal to 2 minus u, and 1 plus ln x plus x is equal to u. And so having done the substitution, my integral looks like that, which, which is much nicer. We then have to spot that that is the kind of integral that we could have had in core 2. It would have been a bit mean. We sometimes miss how to deal with these. We have to uncommon denominatorize this, don't we? We have to split up the fraction. So this is, th I'm going to leave the 3 in front. 3 lots of 2 over u minus 1 for u. Is that okay? That's 2 over u minus u over u, so 2 over u minus 1, which gives us 3 lots of 2 ln u minus u plus c. But it was a, a substitution question. The question began wanting us to find the integral of that. It didn't say anything about finding an answer in terms of u, so we have to undo the substitution at the end. We know that. It's not very nice, but we get... 6 ln 1 plus ln x plus x minus 1 plus ln x plus x plus c. And uh, uh, there's no real point in doing any further tidying up of that. There is the answer. Is it not three? Uh, three times that, yes. We've got, yes. Minus three times that, sorry. Okay, all happy? And that's how it is.